When it comes to scoops, giant freaking robot can be a little hit or miss, but I want to believe this one is true. According to their sources, Tom Cruise has officially joined the MCU and will be in an upcoming project. When hearing this, most fans' first thought will probably be Superior Iron Man in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. I would love to see John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic and Namor and Black Bolt and the rest of the Illuminati, but if we just get Professor X and Iron Man, I'll be so happy. The one thing that I am curious about is, is this a long-term contract or is it only for one movie? We know that Wanda will kill the Illuminati, so it'd kinda suck if that's all we got of Cruz's Iron Man. Hopefully he'll join for multiple projects and we can see him in different shows or movies, or imagine a superior Iron Man trilogy. That'd be awesome. Next, we have the reviews for Morbius from the first screenings. And let me just warn you, they're bad. Like really bad. We also have the post credit scenes, which really aren't any better. Not gonna read entire reviews like I normally do, but just so you get an idea, the reviews say, the movie is bad, it's confusing, it doesn't know what universe it's in, the trailers were bait and almost every mention of other characters was cut, and one reviewer even said, you guys really trust Sony with the amazing Spider-Man 3 or Spider-Man 4 after two Venom movies and now this? And unfortunately, I agree. You guys already know my stance on Kraven, and after this movie, which I honestly don't even know if I'm gonna watch, I just wish that Sony would either partner with Marvel Studios and find a way to incorporate their Spider-Man characters into the MCU under Feige's supervision, or just sell the rights back, because it's not working for them, and things are seemingly getting worse and worse. From the UK screenings, one fan was also able to watch the movie and confirm that Oscorp, the poster of Toby's Spider-Man with the murderer graffiti, and key in scenes, except for those in the credits, were all cut. The mention to Venom did remain though, so that's good at least. They also revealed the post credit scenes, so if you don't want spoilers then click off the video now. Anyways, in the mid credit scene, we see the purple rip in the sky from No Way Home. We then see Keaton appear in a cell, the same way that Venom disappears in No Way Home, with yellow light. And he says, I hope the food is better in this place. Since he magically appeared in the cell, he's let out. But somehow, the news still shows that he's 100% Adrian Toomes. Then the post credit scene shows Morbius traveling out to a random field. Keaton shows up in his full vulture getup, which means that he somehow remade it in this universe because he didn't appear in the jail cell with it. The scene is fully CGI with just Keaton's voice, and he tells Morbius that they should team up and take care of Spider-Man. But why? I was reading comments and I thought the same thing. Why would Morbius even care who Spider-Man is? This isn't the same as Venom, who has the hive mind. Morbius has no idea who Spider-Man is, and he has no reason to hate him, especially if they removed all mention of the character from the movie like everyone's saying. I don't know what Sony's doing with this movie or what the plans for the future are and how they connect to Kraven or Madame Web, but things ain't looking too good. And lastly, fans will be happy to hear that Moon Knight's rating was pushed up to a more mature 16 plus on the UK version of Disney Plus. And from what people are saying, there is a lot of blood in the show and nothing is pulled, especially not the punches. The rating for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness may also be changed as last week it was placed under review by the China Film Association, but I would assume that that has more to do with censorship. So let me know what you guys think about all this. How excited are you to see Tom Cruise in the MCU? Are you planning on watching Morbius next week? And what do you think of Moon Knight's new rating? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you will never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.